Hey everybody, it's Blake and Brandon here, Brad, Sean, Will, and today we're going to be talking about some more about retirement planning. So Brandon, in the past you've talked about re having a reliable income stream as being one of the most important issues surrounding retirement. What would be that next thing on your list? Okay, good question, Blake. Yes, I would say the first thing I started out with is this reliable income stream. Then second, what I would look at is asset protection strategies. You've accumulated this retirement nest egg, all the different items that make up your net, net worth, and you need strategies to protect them in retirement from the various threats and risks that are out there. Right? Well, what are some examples of these strategies? Do you have any that you can give? Well, so two of the primary types are insurance protection and entity protection. So when we think of different risks, I think a lot of times the most common is what we think of as shock loss. And when I say shock loss, I'm talking about a big unexpected loss that would really cause financial harm all at once. House fire, uh, major car injury, maybe injuries in the car uh, crash, uh, could be tornado, could be lawsuits, um, anything, uh, huge medical expenses, Mm -hmm. anything along that line. And so insurance is one way because you're transferring that risk to the insurance company. Now, a second way on these shock losses is what we call entity protection. Mm -hmm. Because insurance is a great technique. It's, it's great to transfer risk, but there's so many different things out there, right? And so if you have a significant net worth, another strategy is entity protection through uh, trust, LLCs, and basically what we're saying is we're dividing, separating your net worth into different entities. Okay, well, outside of the shock losses that can be, you know, prevented with the entity protection and um, the insurance strategies, mm -hmm. what other risks are out there besides those that can be protected against? Right. Well, as you know, in the world we live in, there's just a lot of risk out there, right? And so shock loss is kind of what we think about, uh, number one, but there are other risks out there, uh, such as taxes and inflation. And I think all of us would agree that, that those are always going to be there. We're not going to be able to eliminate them. Uh, we just have to put strategies in place uh, to deal with them. And, and taxes and inflation, sometimes we say it's kind of like a death by a thousand cuts because mm -hmm. just year by year they can eat away um, at our at our net worth so you're not going to take care of these issues with with some sort of insurance with entity protection it's going to take a comprehensive strategy a comprehensive plan with strategies to deal with these things and i think one of the key mindsets to have is a long-term view a macro view not a short-term macro view when we're talking about inflation and taxes. So for instance, on taxes, sometimes people get so caught up in the short term. Am I gonna get a tax refund this year without looking at an extended period of time, five years, 10 years, 20 years? What's the tax implication over a period of time? So inflation, taxes are just two of the risks that are gonna be out there. I don't think they're going anywhere. It's just, it's very important to devise strategies to protect as much as you can from these various risks. Does that All make right. sense? Yeah, yeah, it does. Um, well, I mean, you've hit on a lot of good points again today, um, and, and we appreciate all the insight that you are always giving us, So, and we, and we appreciate all of our viewers for watching. So thanks to, for everybody for tuning in, and uh, keep on coming back for, for more videos to come. Well, thanks, thank everybody. you. I would like to thank you, Blake. You've done a great job thank on the you. interview. So. Thank you. Appreciate all that you do for Bradshaw and Will. Thank you very much. Thanks, sir. Appreciate it.